Hey guys, welcome back for more Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. So we're going to do episode 6 today. So come on, let's begin. So the first one is a cloak stranger. Oh, this one was in the Kingdom Hearts uh 3 game, right? Yes. Whoa. Morning. Is Lushu. One year later. Who are you? Who am I? Let's see. I could introduce myself as Theodore or Jack, but I can't prove that's really who I am. So, what's the point? Hey. I saved your life, you know. You what? I was taking a leisurely stroll when I spotted you passed out on the ground without any protection. Let me guess. You thought your heart was strong enough to withstand the darkness in there. Is that it? Or did you just take a wrong turn somewhere? Wait, are you a tourist? Well, what about you? Why were you there? Whoa, calm down. Sit, let's talk. I used to be a Keyblade wielder, more or less. Really? I've never heard of you. Like I said, you used to be. More or less. How can I trust you? What? That, uh, see? Trust me now? Even less. Ouch. Well, anywho, I just wanted to warn you that going through this gate exposed is a no-no. Fine. Here, take it. Oh, this is the outfit. What's this? A fabulous garment. It's a little out of fashion compared to that armor of yours, but it provides better protection. The armor is a newer style, more suited to combat. But this coat can withstand way more darkness. If you think you can tough it out without the armor, you ought to make the, sn the switch. The snitch. Are you trying to sell me this coat? No, no, it's free. I promise. I still don't trust you. It's stubborn, huh? How do you end up in there anyway? I'm in the middle of my journey to prepare for the Mark of Mastery exam. You're what? I thought you said you used to be a Keyblade wielder. Uh, more or less. Right, well, anyone who's qualified to take the exam needs to travel the outside worlds alone to broaden their horizons. Sounds like work. It's part of the training. Still, hey, you asked. So your trip's not over yet? No. In that case... Maybe you can do me a favor, you know, since I gave you that coat. I thought you said it was f free. I just need you to take a peek. Out of what? People's hearts. Huh? Human emotions are complex. For example, what you feel towards someone you love isn't always good or well-meaning. It can be a false kind of light. Which begs the question, are these messy feelings that emerge from love still light or are they darkness? Whoa, where did it come from? The dark thoughts that dwell inside most hearts bubble to the surface. When we drag others down. There are those with power and those without. Those who possess it harbor feelings of superiority and judgment. And those who don't, inferiority and envy. The weak who fear the strong desire to strip them of their power. So, who are you? Someone with power or someone without? 
one of the strong or one of the weak. People shouldn't be cat categorized in extremes. And even if I was either type, it doesn't mean that I carry those dark intentions. Is that what your experience tells you? This trip is supposed to broaden your horizons, right? What I'm asking from you will help with that. In the meantime, I'll be waiting right here for you to get back. Huh? I look forward to hearing all about it. Okay, next one. A disposable. A Jafar wearing Aladdin again. Episode 6, Uncertain Order. Look at Iago. Sands of time. Reveal to me the one who can enter the cave. Three, even better, my diamonds in the rough. Yeesh, I hope you're right this time. If they fail, oh well, they're merely a secondary plan. <laughs> Okay, seeking the lamp. I wonder if the others are here. I don't know, but I do know this is the only world where Master Odin Prime for us that we haven't searched yet. What do you think, Erd? Erd? Erd. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you say something? Is everything okay? Um, yeah. What was that question? Do you think Erika's and Bragi are here? You're the one who said we should go and find them. You've been a little distracted since we left the castle. What's wrong? You can tell. Well, the thing is, I ran into Vala and Vali. If you don't want to talk about it, it's fine, Erd. No, I do not. If anything, I, I should have told you sooner. Vala was... Oh, how dreadful. Hold that thought. Why is this? Is Jafar? I suppose I must venture into the cave myself. Don't do it, Jafar. It's too dangerous. You'll never make it out alive. A sacrifice I am willing to make. Look at the state of our dear kingdom. The hunger, the children, forced to steal food, the dude is baiting them. <laughs> I can't bear to watch them suffer any longer. If only I had a lamp, I could restore peace to our beloved home. But you're the royal vizier. Without you, who's gonna advise the sultan? Agrabah's future will be nothing but pain and darkness. You may be right, but... Excuse me. Why, you must be travelers. Welcome to Agrabah. Regretfully, we are unable to provide you with the hospitality you so deserve. That's okay. Actually, we overheard your conversation and wanted to know if you needed any help. Oh, how embarrassing. We could never accept such a kind offer, but if you insist... Fetch me the lamp from inside a cave of wonders. With it, I can save this kingdom. It's the only way. Oh, why not send your soldiers? Isayanort. Yeah, you must have other options. I've been telling him the same thing, but he won't listen. Jafar thinks he's gotta put himself in danger to open the Sultan's eyes. In that case, maybe you should be the one. Unfortunately, the guards of Agrabah and I have faced dangers of the cave many times with no success. We are battered and exhausted. Another attempt may well be the end of me. Alright. We... What, Sayonard? Look at his face. It's changed suddenly. I am truly grateful. 
How can I ever thank you? Are you sure about this, Sayonard? Sure enough. Okay, let's go to the Cave of Wonders then. Okay, Cave of Wonders. Who disturbs my slumber? I'm Hermod, Erd, and Sayanord. Proceed. Touch nothing but the lamp. Then why keep all the treasure in there, right? If you just if you only can get the lamp. I mean, if you took the treasure, it's it's pretty much a death sentence, right? You gotta leave it. I wonder what else could be down there. Well, no matter what we find, let's remember not to touch anything. Not that any of us would be so stupid and... Well, one of us might be. <laughs> he definitely might, but don't worry. Broggy's there to make sure Erkas doesn't get into trouble. And that's Jafar. I don't trust him. Keep your guard up. We might be in for a surprise. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because even if this is some sort of hoax, it's still a chance to search parts of this world we otherwise couldn't. And that's true. You're right. Then let's keep an eye out for Ericus and Bragi and anything unusual. How are you sure that they are here? Okay, chasing Ericus. The magic carpet. That's a carpet, right? It certainly is. Yep, I'm walking like a person. Now let's pretend we didn't see anything. And I thought Wonderland was strange. Oh, Ericus is right there. And it's Ericus, right? It certainly is. Yep, I'm walking like a carpet. Let's pretend that we, that we... Never mind. We don't have time for this. Let's go. the same room the treasure is forbidden touch nothing but the lamp what was that oh the heartless are here it sounded like a warning but first things first we need to deal with this heartless right okay jafar's plot so and there's treasure yeah up ahead then we'd better hurry. My oh, Ericus. He's so high. Oh no! Don't touch it! Stop! Hey, Sayanort. Sayanort? Uh, what are you doing? Me? Oh, I was. Aren't you supposed to be looking for four? Oh, we are. We were just asked to fetch a lamp to save this world. So, so were we. Sayonard, maybe you were right about Jafar. The world is in trouble. That much is true. But I sense darkness inside Jafar. And he's desperate to get his hands on the lamp. Darkness, so he tricked us. All I know is that when we took my hand, I felt his greed. He covets power and he'll stop at nothing to obtain it. Even overthrow the Sultan? I guess we're done here then.
Wait. Let's keep searching for the lamp. Why? We don't owe that guy anything. And not for him. I think the lamp is essential for maintaining this world's order. Really? Oh, why is that? Well, let me start from the beginning. So you're saying the upperclassmen are after the lamp? And she said way more than that. Okay, let me get this straight. Uh, for whatever reason, the upperclassmen are trying to steal what's essential to each world's order. Erd thinks that this lamp Jafar is after is it. And that the upperclassmen may come to take it for themselves. Got it. That's what I said. And then let's keep looking for the lamp. And we'll deal with whatever happens when or if it happens. Improvising. I like it. I must be rubbing off on you. I sure hope not. Okay, fire nice. Oh, this thing's again. We fought this in Kingdom Hearts 2, I think, right? Or was it the first one? I don't remember. Uh, they're not going to let us through without a fight. Okay, the cave's depths. It should be up ahead. Okay, let's go. And that was it? What? An easy order. This is it. Oh, Vidar. Well, well. So the lamp is essential. I see you talk to Vala. Then you know why I'm here. Why are you doing this? More importantly, where's Vor? Right here. Vor. Four, you're okay. Let's go home. What? No, I'm gonna stay and help Vidar. But she changed. What happened to her? You can't be serious. Do you know what they're doing? They're stealing items that are vital to maintaining each world's order. Who know what it'll do to that world? It is not right. Yes, taking the items upsets the balance of the worlds. But what we're hoping to find is true light that shines even in the face of confusion and uncertainty. So are you using the worlds for your plan? I'm willing to do anything if it means to, de to defeating the darkness. Wouldn't you, Ericus? Well, I... I agree that we need to banish darkness, but at what cost? We've defeated countless dark entities the old-fashioned way. Why go this far? In order to defeat true darkness, we need to gather seven lights. We need to replace the lights that we've lost. A task which we have Vor's help. I don't have a clue about true darkness and how much of a threat it is. But upsetting each world's order is the worst thing you could do. Don't upset the order, huh? That's what we were taught to. Please do explain, sir. Oh, these are all the kids. To prepare for the Mark of Mastery exam, you will travel to the worlds beyond to broaden your horizons. There, you will observe all manner of order. Some you may not comprehend, but you must still respect. 
You must not disturb the balance. Even if it's rooted in darkness? Yes. You do not yet possess the ability to distinguish between light and shadow. But we've already learned so much. Yeah, more than enough to go and knock some sense into anyone. The cool kid. <laughs> Who thinks they know better? Don't be rash. We must proceed carefully. Even if being careful costs us time we don't have? I don't think we'll need to worry about anything. I believe in the light in people's hearts. We were so focused on what we were taught that we lost sight of what was important. What was that? Our friends, the ones of light that we were supposed to fight with us. They're gone and they're never coming back. And to make sure their efforts weren't in vain, we need to defeat darkness at any cost. Ericus, we want the same thing. So I ask of you, take this and find light that's as strong enough to accomplish our shared goal. I want to banish darkness, and I'm willing to do anything. At least, I thought I was. Thinking of what it might cost scares me. Maybe I'm not prepared for this after all. It's okay, Ericus. None of us have the knowledge or experience to decide. When you do eventually become a Keyblade Master, you may find yourself having to make this very same decision. And maybe then you'll know what to do. Sayonard's right. This is too much for any of us. Sayonard. You guys. Thank you. Did I really like uh, Master Ericus? Okay, we're in a way over our heads. Let's go talk to the Master Odin or to Master Odin. Yeah, he had he had a very like short time in the main series, right? Wait, but what about Jafar? He's waiting for us. So who cares? Yeah, it's best we steer clear of him. That's it. Yeah, his screen time in the main game was like maybe less than three hours, right? Yeah, it was very short. Like in birth by sleep, maybe even less than two hours. And then he showed up in Kingdom Hearts 3. A little bit as well. Okay, the last one for this episode, a meeting. I wish we could have we could have or had them longer. Like maybe teach Sora and the kids, right? And the guys. Yeah, but they killed him off in birth by sleep. So. Yeah. In wards of darkness, it's useful. Told you. So, how did it go, the tour? I learned the reason for my existence. Oh, tell me more. All around the world, people live seemingly peaceful lives. And they believe themselves to be moral and virtuous. But it's all an act. Darkness lurks in the pit of everyone's heart. Their light is a total farce. Uh, sounds like your trip around the world opened your eyes, but... You got a little bit more than you anticipated. I must have been seeing a lot of darkness. Those who are weak and who desire greater power. 
simply strip the strong of their power and convince themselves they've earned it. And that's how people become tainted by darkness. They believe what they want to believe, using hollow reasons as justification. They repeat this cycle and their darkness grows. So you're saying the weak feel the need to justify their actions to maintain a sense of self? I can't let that slide? No. It's better they be ruled by darkness. People carry delusions of having power, but it's a lie. They are but sheep pretending to be wolves. Though I admit, I can understand why. Oh, never heard that one before. A keyblade wielder willing to side with darkness? Why not just let them be until the darkness consumes them? Because left alone, the world would fall to chaos. There needs to be order. You sure about that? Why not just sit back and watch it play out? Understanding hearts is difficult, more so the emotions within. I simply realize that it's easy to, to dismiss what you don't comprehend. Alright, alright. The world needs you, I'll grant you that one. I don't know what I can do, but I will act. What comes next is too important. I suppose letting false light dictate the future might be a pretty lousy move. So? You can make a change, you have that power. What do you want for the world? Power, okay. Who knows, my training's coming to an end and the exam's not far off. Maybe I can gain some clarity then? You're letting the exam decide? Listen to me. The results don't matter. You believe the world needs you. Sounds like you already know where you're headed. It's funny. Somehow I can sense where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to do. Yes, even this coat, there's something familiar about it. As if I'm meant to wear this. Hmm. No, you'll ditch it soon. What? What do you mean? I mean, and that one day you're going to outgrow it. How so? If you truly possess great power, the darkness can't control you. You won't need a silly old cult to, to, say, to say safe. In fact, you'll be the one controlling the darkness instead. Me on the other hand, I'm too much of a scaredy cat to ever take mine off. Who are you really? Some kind of fortune teller? Well, I could lie and tell you that's what I am when I'm actually a brilliant artist or even a scholar. I could tell you that I dream of world peace when I'm actually planning for its destruction. The truth is what you see with your eyes, not what you hear. So, your name? What did I just... Never mind, I guess uh, there's no harm. My name is... Okay, didn't say the name here. As well, yeah. Pretty much like in the Kingdom Hearts 3, yes. I'm a lost master. Lost master? May your heart be your guiding key. Episode 6, End. Okay, so we're finished with episode 6. So pretty much we learned a little bit from the upperclassmen what their goals is, what they want to do, right? And yeah, we saw Saiyanort's conversation with Lushu. It's pretty much the same as the one in Kingdom Hearts 3, right? The DLC, uh, pretty much the beginning of the Remind DLC. I think just... What do you call this? The A Cloak Stranger. This the other chapter here, the first chapter we did in this episode was I think it was new. I don't actually remember. But yeah, then this part, uh, the last one, a meeting with him, is pretty much the same as the DLC. It was basically the same. 
Like we couldn't hear his name. He didn't say his name. He said, I could be an artist. I could be someone. I could be this, 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 that, right? Yeah, because Lucio has a different lives. He's been living so long. And he was Rain back then. And then he became Sigbar. Like, I want to see uh, all his lives. It would be pretty cool to see. Like, his impact in the Kingdom Hearts history, right? It would be nice. Because the upcoming... Or the upcoming games in the Kingdom Hearts is the Lost Masters arc. Basically, we finished Sanark. Sainart's arc, right? So maybe we'll see more of his backstory right there. That would be pretty cool. I can't wait. So anyways, I will do episode 7 in the next one. So we're very close to ending. I think we're gonna be up to episode 8. And then we're gonna end this, uh, the game. It's over. So I'll just see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.